Hello, welcome to Cloud Channel. In this module, we will talk about cloud storage in Google Cloud Platform. And uh, we will talk about uh, cloud storage and um, what is the, the Google Cloud hierarchy and what are the tools uh, that we use like to create a cloud storage to upload files or to delete the buckets. And also we will discuss about how to secure our data in uh, Google Cloud Platform. And then we will go through that um, the Google Cloud Console, and I will show you how to create the bucket and how to how to upload the files and further, like you know, how we can uh, restrict the access using IAM in Google Cloud flat platform. And let's start. What is cloud storage? Cloud storage allows worldwide storage and retrieval of any amount of data at any time. We can use cloud storage for a range of scenarios, including serving website content, storing data for archival and disaster recovery, or distributing large objects to users via direct download. And cloud storage is a service for storing our objects in Google Cloud. An object is an immutable piece of data consisting of a file of any format, whether it is a CSV file, Parquet, Avro, or any format. We store objects in containers called buckets. All buckets are associated with a project and we can group our projects under an organization. I will show you how to create a project uh, and how to create a bucket and how to upload files after this. Once we create a project, we can create cloud storage buckets, upload objects to our buckets and download objects from our buckets. We can also grant permissions to make our data accessible to members that we specify or for certain use cases such as hosting a website accessible to everyone on the public internet. Let's talk about cloud storage structure. Structure, Example of Google Cloud hierarchy. So here is how the cloud storage structure can apply to a real world case. Let's talk about organization. Our company called anything like, you know, Contosco or Google INC. It creates a Google Cloud organization called like, you know, Google INC.org. And let's talk about project. So example, Google INC is a building several applications and each one is associated with a project. Each project has its own set of cloud storage APIs as well as other resources. Let's talk about bucket. Bucket where we store all our, all our objects, files in this bucket. Each project can contain multiple buckets which are containers to store our objects. For example, we might create a bucket called a bucket 01, or we can call storage bucket for, and also we can create a photos bucket for all the image files that our app generates and separate videos bucket. And we can segregate all these buckets. We can create one bucket for videos, one bucket for photos, and one bucket for files. Let's talk about object. Object is an individual file such as an image called anything like, you know, photo dot PNG or any format. Let's talk about basic tools for uh, cloud storage. Here are some basic ways we can interact with cloud storage. We can use console, we can use yes, util, and we can use client libraries and REST APIs. Let's talk about Google Cloud Console. And I will walk you through that Google Cloud Console in a few minutes. So let's talk about Google Cloud Console. The Google Cloud Console provides a visual interface for us to manage our data in a browser. Example, in Azure, we use Azure Portal. In AWS, we use uh, AWS Management Console. So in a similar way, in the Google Cloud platform, we use Google Cloud Console. What is GSUtil? GSUtil is a command line tool that allows us to interact with the cloud storage through a terminal. 
If we use other Google's cloud services, we can download the cloud SDK, which includes GSUtil along with G Cloud Tour for other services. What are client libraries? The cloud storage client libraries allows us to manage our data using one of our preferred languages, including C++, C Sharp, Go, Java, Node.js, PHP, Python, and Ruby. What are REST APIs? REST APIs manage our data using the JSON or XML API. Let's talk about securing our data in cloud storage in Google Cloud Platform. Once we upload our objects to cloud storage, we have fine-grained control over how we secure and share our data. So here are some ways to secure our data that we upload to cloud storage using IAM, Identity and Access Management. We use IAM to control who has access to the resources in our Google Cloud project. Resources include cloud storage bu buckets and objects, as well as other Google entities such as compute engine instances. We can grant members certain types of access to buckets and objects such as update, create, delete. Let's talk about data encryption. Cloud storage uses server-side encryption to encrypt our data by default. We can also use supplemental data encryption encryption options such as customer managed encryption keys and customer supplied encryption keys. Authentication. So we ensure that anyone who accesses our data has proper credentials. And let's talk about bucket log. Govern how long objects in buckets must be retained by specifying a retention policy. So while we are creating a bucket, we have an option to choose this retention policy. A last one, object versioning. When a live version of an object is replaced or deleted, it can be retained as a non-current version if we enable object versioning. So I will go to Google Cloud Console and I will show you guys how to create a bucket and how to secure that bucket and where to deploy and which region we can choose. And also how to upload files and how to delete the files from our buckets. Let me log into Google Cloud Console. I'm in the Google Cloud Console portal. So let me go to home. So I'm I'm in a Google Cloud Console. And now how do we create a bucket here? So I will go to navigation menu and I will go to storage and where we see options, file store, cloud storage, data transfer. So I will select cloud storage and I will click on browser. Now here we see option, create a bucket. If we have any buckets available, we can see all the buckets here. So right now I don't have any buckets in my project. So I will create a bucket. So we can create a bucket using create bucket option here, or we can use option here. So I will just click on create bucket. So now we need to name our bucket. So we need to pick a globally unique, a permanent name. So example or example bucket one, anything, whatever we need. So I will call my bucket name as storage account zero, zero 01. So this is my bucket name. So I will click on continue. And here we see options, location type, multi-region. Why do we have to choose multi-region? Uh, if we want highest availability across largest area, we can go for multi-region. And if we choose dual region, high availability and low latency across two regions. And the last option, region, lowest latency 
within a single region. So I will choose this uh, lowest latency with a single region since this is just a demo session. And I will click on continue. So now here we have option to choose a default storage class for our data. So here we can see a storage class sets cost for storage, retrieval and operations. Pick a default storage class based on how long we plan to store our data and how often it will be accessed. So this is, for now I will choose a standard best for short term storage and frequently accessed data. And other options, let's go through other options, near line, core line, archive. So near line is just for uh, best for backups and data access less than once a month. And core line best for disaster recovery and data access less than once a quarter. And archive best for long term. So we have all these options available in other cloud providers, uh, Microsoft Azure and uh, AWS. So here I will just choose standard for now and click on continue. So choose how to control access to objects. So I will choose uniform because it ensure uniform access to all objects in the bucket by using only bucket level. Fine grain is a specific, specific to uh, like, you know, individual objects using object level permissions in addition to bucket level permission. So let me select uniform. And we discussed like, you know, about retention policy. So here we can choose a, a retention policy and retain objects so we can choose the days everything but for now i will just uh, uh, skip this option and before i create this bucket i want to discuss about this monthly cost estimate where we can see that storage size so here we can see that uh, 0 0.002 cents per gb per, per month so example if i say 100 gb and data retrieval size I just say, I'll say 100 and it's free. And class operations and here we can see the cost and we can choose the currency, whichever country you are in, just select that currency. Then you will see that monthly cost and availability SLA 99.9%. So I will close this and I will create a bucket now. Uh, it is very quick the creation of bucket is very quick and here we can see that bucket is available so now if we want to upload files in this bucket i will tell you how to do that uh, click on the bucket and here we see all the options upload files we can upload a folder create a folder the thing so and let's go to configuration before we upload files in this bucket so here we can see that our configuration created just now and the location type and US East, South Carolina and default storage class standard and cloud console URL. And we can see all this um, and public access, not a public. And we can change it if we want and we can look at the permissions, not public. So I will go back to objects and I will select upload files and I will upload a data from my local machine into Google Cloud Storage. So here I will upload a diamonds data file. It is a CSV file and select that file. And it is very quick. Now we can see that the file is available in our Cloud Storage bucket. So we can see the size. So I can just open this file and then uh, and also I can click on this so I can download using that link if we want to download anything so we can download here and if we want to delete the file if we don't want this file existing in our bucket we can just uh, select option delete and this action is permanent and just click on delete but now I don't delete this file and I will go back to bucket now so far we discussed how to create a bucket, how to choose the region and how do we select the retention policy and how do we calculate the cost for the storage service. 
And now if we no longer needed this bucket and we want to delete this bucket, so I will just select this. I will check this bucket and click on delete. And this action will permanently delete the bucket and we have to make sure and we, I need to type delete. So I just need to type delete to delete this bucket permanently. I will click on delete and bucket is deleted. So if I refresh it, I don't see anything. This is very quick. And this is how we create buckets, upload files and uh, delete the files. If we don't want in the bucket, we can delete the bucket if we are done with our development work or anything. And so far in this module, we discussed what is cloud storage and what is the example of Google Cloud hierarchy and what are the basic tools for cloud storage and how to secure our data. And also we discussed how to create a bucket and how to upload the files and how to secure the bucket and how to uh, delete the bucket if we don't need them anymore. So if you have any questions on these cloud storage, please post them in the comments. If you have, if you like this video, please subscribe and share the channel. Thank you.